So this is the physical science lesson video for section 8.4 and so if you've been following we've talked about solutions, we've talked about acids and bases, so now we're going to talk about the strength of acids and bases. So chemists use a number scale called the pH scale that ranges from 0 to 14 to describe the concentration of hydronium ions, which remember that's H3O plus, which is produced by an acid, in a solution. So a pH of less than 7 indicates an acid, a pH of exactly 7 indicates neutral, and a pH of greater than 7 indicates a base. And so that's the pH scale and that's what we use to determine um, how much acid is in a solution. The lower the pH value, the greater the H3O plus ion concentration in a solution is. Now I know that seems weird that the lower the value, but it's based off of a logarithm. Um, pH is calculated by doing the negative log of the H plus concentration, so it ends up making it seem backwards. And then the higher the pH value, the lower the H3O plus ion concentration is. So the less like an acid, the more like a base it is. And so if you look, your H3O plus and your OH minus, it's like a seesaw. Okay, so if OH goes down, H3O goes up. If H3O goes down, OH minus goes up. They don't ever do the same thing together. When strong acids dissolve in water, they ionize almost completely. What that means is it breaks apart. So if I have HCl, the H and the Cl, almost every single one will break apart. Strong bases are the same way. They almost completely ionize in water. So like if I have NaOH, almost every single one will break up into Na and OH minus, Na plus and OH minus. All right. So strong acids, so if you look here, it has one white and one red. And if you look down here, all of them are breaking apart. And same thing here, we have HBr, and once it's in water, almost all of them are breaking apart. So those indicate strong acids or bases. Weak acids and bases, on the other hand, only partially break apart. So strength refers to the solute's tendency to form ions in water. Weak acids and bases only partially dissociate in water. So here's an example. We have one white, one red. And if you look, yes, some of them have broken apart, but many of them are staying together. They're not all going to break apart. Here's another example. We have HClO, and uh, one of them has broken apart. We have an H plus and a ClO minus, but many of them have stayed together. So that refers to as a weak acid or base, depending on what substance we're talking about. A buffer is a solution that is resistant to large changes in pH. So buffers are made from a weak acid and its conjugate base. You don't really need to know what that is right now, but it has an acid and a base portion. So if you add more acid, the base will neutralize it. If you add more base, the acid part will neutralize it. And so that's how the buffer keeps from changing pH, is it tries to neutralize anything that you add to it. So section assessment. Number one, how is pH related to the concentration of hydronium ions in solution? Well, the lower the pH, the higher the hydronium ion concentration. The lower the pH, the higher the hydronium ion concentration or vice versa. You say the higher the pH, the lower hydronium ion concentration. Number two, what determines the degree to which an acid is weak or strong? Well, it would depend on how many break into ions. How many of the particles break into ions? The more that break up, the stronger it is. I know that sounds weird because you would think, well, the strong ones should stay together. But we want a lot of ions. That's what we want because that can be conductive. Um, so the more that break apart, the stronger it is. Number three, why is pure water neutral? Well, if you remember, acids produce H3O plus because they lose an H plus. So like when HCl goes into water, it becomes H plus and CO minus. Hydronium comes from that H plus just attacking, um, attaching to a water molecule. When a base is put in water, we get the OH minus. Well, if you look, H plus and OH minus just makes H2O, water. So it's neutral because the H plus and the OH minus cancel each other out. All right, and then number four, what is a buffer? A buffer is a solution that resists a change in pH. All right, so hopefully now you understand a little bit more about the difference in strong and weak acids and bases. You know about the pH scale and you know what a buffer is.